Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Honda, and I'm checking out a 2015 Honda Civic SI, which is one of my favorite vehicles of all time. And this one has the 2.4 liter, 205 horsepower engine, six speed manual transmission, and a limited slip differential. So you, you can really zip around no problem with this vehicle so it, and also just looking at it check out the wheels it's sitting on 18 inch alloy wheels and for a car this size that's pretty substantial and they have like a combination of the alloy popping through the black background super cool looking and it does have four wheel disc brakes so you have plenty of stopping power for a small, light, nimble vehicle like this. It's got the IV Tech dual overhead cam badge there on the side. So looking in the front, we have reflector halogen headlights with the daytime running lights there. Fog lights there at the bottom, of course. And we got the SI badge. in red standing out in the all black grill okay so let's take a look over here and has a little camera in under here which I'll show you what that's for in a few minutes but this one has a proximity key and let me show you what the key looks like it's just this little black box and as long you can lock and unlock the doors with it if you want to or you can just keep it in your pocket and just walk up and put your hand on the handle and it senses the key and it senses the your hand on on that position and it will unlock now to relock it you push this button now it's not going to lock or anything because the vehicle is running but that's the procedure you just put your hand on the back of the handle it senses it unlocks all right let's take a look here on the passenger side and you've got the red stitching here on the cloth soft to the touch side here with that metallic accent you have a place to put some stuff that's including a bottle or something there in the door check out those seats bolstered cloth SI seats with like a dark red in the middle and you have the red stitching there in the in the sides you do have some stitching there on the dash as well Let's take a look at the glove compartment. Pretty deep, pretty standard, nothing special there. Decent leg room. Now that seat's not quite all the way back, but almost all the way back. Well, it's actually the driver's seat's all the way back, so you can see the difference there. So it's not too bad as far as leg room. Plenty of leg room. All right, let's take a look here in the back. See inside of the back door. You see it has the same styling as the front. It even has the pocket there in the door now I put the seat down to show you that it does have the uh, the ability to put the seats down in case you need some more cargo space and it's you know pretty much flat with the the trunk there and it's a 60 40 split so you can have a combination of cargo space and passenger space so let me go ahead and lift that up show you what the seats look like seats have some decent bol bolstering but not quite as much as the front because it's a, it's a long bench seat there. You can actually put three people back here if you need to. And that way they can slide in and out a little bit easier. And I don't know if you can notice, the, it has a pretty neat pattern in the cloth seats. Plenty of head, headroom too. Okay, so let's take a look at the trunk. But let's look at the back first, check out the back. You got that spoiler there in the back pretty decent size spoiler without too, being too too tacky and then you have the chrome exhaust tip back here let that 2.4 liter breathe a little bit and you got the SI badge I always get excited when I get around the SI I like the two-door too okay so let's go ahead and open this up there's the, it clues you in when it's new, that has this little sticker. 
uh, there's a little button it's just like a electric button there's the backup camera lens there all right so here is the trunk and pretty decent size for a vehicle this this big has your has it dished out on the right and left so you can really cram stuff in here if you really need to plus the back seats fold down like I showed you and there's the the space that it goes through there's the SI floor mats that will be installed for the new owner under here is your spare tire it's a donut spare tire and tools and uh, some some new vehicles don't come with a spare tire so I uh, definitely want to make sure that you check that it has a so you know if it has a spare tire or not you don't want to be surprised uh, at the wrong time All right let's take a look over here and let's open up the fuel door but before we do that let's take a look at the window sticker since there's not too much of a glare and I'm gonna put this information some of it's in the description plus I'm gonna have a link to the website East Coast Honda's website you can check it out in a little bit more detail all right, so let's open up the fuel door by pushing that down. So here's the fuel door opens up, and then you have the fuel cap there. And I'm not going to open it because the vehicle's running, but you can take it off and you can hang it right here. It has this little hanger to avoid it hanging down and scratching your paint. Um, it does have this little tether there so you don't lose it. Because you know if it doesn't have that, you're going to drop it and it's going to land right in the center of the vehicle. Or it's going to be, you know, somewhere where it's inconvenient. Okay, so let's go over here and look in underneath the hood. Add that 2.4 liter. 205 horsepower IV Tech engine. And love, 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 love this engine rock solid timing chain lasts forever has plenty of power this is a really tried and true engine that Honda has and it's not covered up much with plastic you can see it just has that plastic cover there then you can actually see the engine around it, which I love that. I don't like to see plastic, I like to see the engine when I lift the hood up. Alrighty. Okay, so let's take a look at a little bit more detail on the inside. So to start the car, uh, you just basically get in the vehicle, push in the clutch, put your foot on the brake, make sure it's a neutral, that would be a good thing, and just push the button. And it starts right up. All right, here we are on the inside. Got plenty of leg room, knee room. And you can see the pedals down there are metallic with some rubber grips there. And also you have a place to put your left foot, which is very convenient, especially on a manual transmission. You're pushing the clutch, you can rest your foot there. Really like the layout of this vehicle. It's um, <laughs> kind of reminds me of my car. I really like it. Okay, so let's look at the door. Power windows, uh, controls here. Uh, the driver's door is automatic, so you just push it. It goes all the way down or up just by pushing it down or lifting it up. You can lock out the other windows if you want to, like kids or something in the back. You don't want them playing around with the windows. You can lock them out. There's the door locks. Side mirrors are adjusted with this right here you just pick the side you want to adjust and then you adjust it and you put it in the center position to avoid messing up your adjusted mirrors all right let's take a look over here there's your traction control button you can turn that's to turn it off it's always on basically unless you push that button and that's if you want to spin tires and really get sporty which it does have a limited slip differential so you're not gonna be slip spinning too much tires I guess you're gonna be taken off but anyway, that's mostly for like if you're stuck in the snow or mud or something like that, you need to spin tires to break yourself free. Little storage pocket down here, put in some change or something. 
So check out this steering wheel. You've got the it's a leather wrap, a black leather wrap steering wheel with the red stitching on the inside. And then you've got the SI badge there in the center, bottom. Metallic accent there. Cruise control here on the right. You also have that glossy kind of metallic black accenting the steering wheel as well. And the cruise control settings, you just have to make sure it's turned on. You push, push that button, the green light comes on. And you can set it with this button, change your speed, and cancel it, like so. So on the left side, you have um, just default is volume up and down for your radio and change through your, your presets on your radio. Also change through your source, like AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. But if you push this menu button, you can use these up and down buttons to scroll through this menu system um, and get you know the information that you want here on this little screen up here. And you know it's just to the right of your speedometer, so it's a small information screen, and you can push menu to get out of it. So also you can push this button here on the top to get a different different screen. So let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. So right now we're in like a clock, calendar, you know, basic screen has outside temperature, your miles on the vehicle, that kind of thing. So I'm going to push this button and it kind of cycles through there, just showing you what the radio is doing, pushing it again, showing your one of your, your fuel economy screens. And then your second, though, this is your power, like your power monitor uh, as far as your VTEC system. And it's pretty cool. It actually has like, you know, a picture of the inside of the engine with a dual overhead cam and then the uh, the VTEC system there which is pretty awesome but that power monitor let me see if I push the gas yeah it gives you a little bit of a you know indicator of how much power you're using and how much you got left which is really awesome um, you know, especially when that that VTEC kicks in it really jumps up there okay so let's push the button again cycles through a blank screen in case you just don't want anything on the screen uh, in case the screen is distracting you or something and then it goes back to your, you know, like analog looking clock there. Okay, so that's the main feature, the main, you know, idea of these, what these buttons do. But down here, we have uh, your Bluetooth phone and also a voice recognition button. So once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, to answer a call, all you have to do is push this button. So you're driving along, you got the radio blast and the air conditioner going or whatever, and some you all that stuff will dim out get get quieter and then you'll start hearing ringing you just push that button you say hello and you start talking to the person when you're finished talking whether they are or not you can hang up right here and then um, if you want to make a call you can use this voice recognition button you just push that button you can say let's say you had somebody named John Vincent in your phone book you just push that button say call John Vincent and it'll call him uh, you can also say the, the, the actual number. You can also use the voice recognition so, to change the stations, like tune to a certain station. Um, so the voice recognition, Bluetooth, all this stuff is really good convenience features, but it's a really good safety feature at the same time because it keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road the whole time you're staying productive. I really, really uh, think that's a good, good thing in vehicles nowadays. You have some bolsters there on the steering wheel to kind of give you some good lateral control grip there. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here at, there's your headlights. There's off, parking lights, automatic, which turns on, on and off by itself. And then there's the turn it on. Fog lights, you can turn on and off there. Windshield wipers are on that side. So right here in front of you, you have like a multi-tier system for your gauges. So right directly in front of you, real big, easy to read with that red and the white popping out of the black is your RPMs. And this is something you want to really focus on uh, when you are, you know, with a manual transmission especially, you're cycling through the gears, you want to get that, you know, you stay in a certain power band. And the VTEC system kind of has two or three power bands, it's crazy. So um, it's like fast and it's super fast. So anyways, um, so there's your RPMs there, right there, front and center. And right above it, in this second tier, is your speedometer. And it's a big digital speedometer. And it's real easy to see, like you're driving along and, and your eyes are on the road, but also you can see that like right there. It's almost as good, if not better, than a heads up display that's, that reflects off your windshield. Uh, so you got your speedometer there. 
and then you've got the red all the way around it, the fuel gauge, and then it's got VTEC there, and then, you know, there's your screen that we went looked at before. So here's your, and all this is surrounded by like a synth, I guess it's a um, synthetic, uh, or, or uh, what do you call it? It's not real, I don't think, it, and that is the carbon fiber. It just has the carbon fiber look, it, you know, unless it's covered up with some kind of coating it, it doesn't feel like it's real okay so four-way flashers are here and you've got a big touch screen your CD player is there at the top and so right now we're in the home screen and let me get a little bit closer so maybe you can see better you have your phone screen and once you pair your phone you have more information right now I'm not gonna pair so just kind of everything's kind of dimmed out but you'll be able to speed dial, which is really convenient while you're driving. Um, you have a call history. You can call anybody in your phone book, that kind of thing. Like hit the home button, go back. Uh, information. What's really cool, um, you can get your instant fuel economy, average fuel economy, um, you know, your history information. It's like you get a whole breakdown of, of, of how you've been driving and all that cool stuff. All right, let's get audio so you can see what the radio screen looks like. And there's lots of different ways to play music through the sound system, right? This is FM, but let me hit source just to give you an idea. AM, FM, CD player, USB, iPod, Pandora, AHA, I mean, US, Bluetooth, even an HDMI input. I mean, there's lots and lots of different ways to play music through the sound system, it's crazy. So, um, and I was kind of surprised, you know, modern cars have CD players, but I guess some people still use them. But anyways, um, let's go to home. All right, and you got settings. Uh, this is where you can, you know, pair Bluetooth phones, um, turn the lines on and off on your camera, you can change your clock, all that good stuff. iLink, um, this is connects your phone to where you can play apps and stuff through your cell phone. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, I want to show you something before I go to continue. Over here on this turn signal also is this button and I'm going to push that button just to show you what it does. What it does is it gives you a view uh, that camera that's on the bottom of that side mirror turns on and you get to see what's in your blind spot there to the right over that way. And um, so this is a really, really good feature. If you're changing lanes, speaking of that, you don't even have to push this button. That's just one way of turning on. You can just turn your turn signal on and it pops up. I just want to mention that. But anyways, this, uh, this screen here is a really good way of just like literally seeing right in your blind spot. So you have no blind spot now in that, in that area. Another, another cool feature about this car is that here on the driver's side, on the side mirror, you can see right there on the edge, it looks a little bit distorted. Let's see if you can see it. A little bit distorted there on the edge. That is attempting to eliminate your blind spot using a kind of like a little bit of a distortion to kind of stretch around so you can see around in your blind spot. So that's two, those two blind spots are almost eliminated completely using those two features, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's look down here at your climate control, your fan speed, where you want the air to blow, your temperature. Um, pretty basic system right there, easy to use. Have a storage pocket here. And let me put my cell phone in there so we can get an idea of what the size is. Yeah, my, my cell phone, I have a really big cell phone, so it's a, it's a Note 4. But anyway, it fits in there right around there. So you can put stuff, also if it's small enough, you can close the door like that. So here's your USB HDMI input. You have a 12 volt power supply there. You have a storage pocket here, which that's probably the place I'd throw my phone when I get in the vehicle right there. And it has those little places where you can prop it up, maybe this way, I don't know. All right, so here's your six speed manual transmission shifter and really cool looking with the metal there on the top. And then you've got the red leather lettering and um, you got leather around the side and the metal. And the only thing about the metal on the top is when the sun's shining on it, it gets kind of hot. So it's a good thing to put the, the leather on the outside so you can actually touch it. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and put it in reverse and, you know, let me just cycle it through so you can see it's real short distances, real easy to shift. There's fifth, um, and then sixth, and then reverse is way over here to the bottom, so it's not easily just put in reverse. So when you put it in reverse, the backup camera pops up, and then you have those yellow guidelines showing you um, that the width of the vehicle, also your that dotted line is saying, hey, that's the, the absolute closest you want to go on this vehicle. Plus, when you turn the steering wheel, it turns the lines so you have an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you're backing up as well. All right, so that's that. Parking brake here. There's your cup holders. It has these little spring-loaded things to pop out to take up the slack for different size cups. Here's your armrest. This will slide forward and back depending on how you want it. Plus it opens up and you'll find a USB port in here as well as some more storage area. And also it has this place to put wires in and out of this little cubby hole. Rear view mirror has a standard manual day and night mode. Tap lights up here for a quick reading light. Also you can turn the ability turn it to where when the door opens the lights turn on uh, using this button here so you can have it off or on whether the door or not and then your sunroof controls are here but um, let me just show you the visor real fast before I do that it just has a mirror in it no lights same thing on the other side so the sunroof is right here and it has a shade it has a pretty good size sunroof so and you can tilt it up like that or you can open it up all the way, see what it looks like. And if you're like, right now, like today, is kind of a warm day and I don't want the sun on me, I could just close that up and completely stop the sun from shining on me. All right, let's take a look at the visibility out of the back. So what do, you, what do you think about this car? Are you as excited as I am? This is one of my favorite cars on the market, the SI. One is the gas mileage, the reliability, the speed, the zippiness of it. Um, I mean, there's lots and lots of things to like about this car. So anyways, you tell me what you think. Do you like the four-door? Do you like the two-door? Do you like uh, maybe another trim level of the Honda Civic? Let me know in the comments. If you have any experience with one of these, if you own one, um, let us know what your experience is. That would be really great. That would be helpful for other people. Also, um, if you could like my video, subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to East Coast Honda here. I'm going to leave John Vincent is the guy that work that he's a buddy that works here. And he can actually deliver a car like this to you anywhere in the United States, which is amazing service. So I'm going to leave his contact information in the description. So if you're interested in a vehicle, you just all it takes is an email, and you you know he'll hook you up. So I'll leave it in the description, and I appreciate your time. And thank you to East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for allowing me to show you this awesome car. See you next time.